Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today I've got uh, my CBCS comic books have finally arrived. Um, I sent them off in July. I couldn't remember if it was June, July. It was July, and uh, I had these are all um, autographed uh, signature verification. So very happy about this. There's seven books in here I have not looked. So, pretty excited. I'm suspecting they should all be, um, should all be uh, in the 9.4 to 10 range. I'm not gonna say nine, nine or 10, they never are. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna say nine to um, nine to nine, eight, because you know, you know, you know how my grading is. My grading is awful. All right, and first off, see they package really well. There we go. I had them uh, come back via uh, FedEx, which uh, came back very fast. So I was pretty happy about that. And I felt like this time, uh, my signature verifications took a little longer than they had before. Um, I don't know if it was because I sent them in or, or what, because before, when I got them uh, verified, it was via um, uh, dropping them off at a show, whether it be San Diego or uh, Heroes Con in Charlotte. And oh yeah, oh yeah. We got a cocoon here. We have an actual cocoon. All right. Yeah, yeah. Take out the scissors on this one, not just the clippers. Yay, inside of a morning. Yeah, they they make sure they, they pack these things. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You know the packing is very loud. <laughs> Alright. Now we're going this way with them. Alright, that's layer number one. Layer number two, and here are the books. So I look up at the ceiling while being sure I don't drop them. There we go. They smell very nice. They smell very, very nice. All right, now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set them down in here and get all the bubble wrap off of me. And here we go, number one. Trying not to look, okay. And one thing they do is um, all of these are actual books that I um, that had COAs with them. The next group I send in is gonna be some of the books that I've picked up myself and got signed myself. So, so we'll see how that works. So I know these are all have COAs with them. So, and they always ship those back, which is awesome. And the first one is, <laughs> I was looking at the back of the book. <laughs> I was like, what is, what is, what is Dirk Gentry? And we start off with, uh, this is a uh, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ken Hazer or Ken Heiser. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but it had that little Harley sketch on it. It's a book I really wanted. So we'll just, you know what? Instead of being all sneaky and hidey, we'll just see. Is that 9.6? It's always nice. When this first came out, it was 70 some dollars. And that's more than I wanted to pay for it. And then um, they had a sale on it. Uh, it's like a half price sale. So I, that's when I bought it. So I got that nice Harley sketch on there. And it did come with a COA and uh, they put it in, in this package here with all the COAs and everything. I'm not showing you, so no spoilers for the other books. So very happy to get that one and, and have it graded. And you can see my, my ceiling lamp in here. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Now, now, now you can really see that ceiling light. <laughs> there we go. All right. Book number one. I like this. This is mu a much better um, 
protector that I'm used to getting with the uh, the graded books. That's pretty cool. All right, next is man. These feel really nice. <laughs> I should be I should be more excited about the book than the the, the plastic protector they gave me, but that these are nice protectors. They're not that thin stuff that I've been getting. Next is, I'll hold it up high, uh, ASM 5 something. I'm trying to see it on the back. Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> 545. And it comes back a 9.6, which is awesome. I love this sketch, this Black Cat sketch. Let's see, who actually did the sketch? Uh, a Ken Hazer also. Nice. Uh, it, it was numbered to $9.99. Mine was $2.49. So it looks awesome. I picked this one up at a show. Um, it, was a, it was a microcon. It only had three dealers. And I picked it up for very cheap. And I think I think it's an awesome, awesome sketch. So there we go. 9.6. So I guess everything's going to be 9.6. I hope not. I hope we get some nine eights. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm not going to say anything else about these bags, but these things are great. Look at that. You can fold them over and tape them. <laughs> I haven't been this excited about a bag in a long time, but that's pretty awesome. Uh, at some point, I'll, I'll stop talking about the bags. Uh, next, let's see, face down, face down. If I can see the back so I know what it is. Uh, Absolute Carnage, this is the uh, Midtown Comics exclusive, signed by, I believe, um, Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman, I believe that's this one. Beautiful, beautiful cover. And it comes back, 9.8, there we go, there we go. That is nice, very, very nice. Let's see, um, signed by Cates and Stagman, yes. The Midtown exclusive, 9.8 on that one. Beautiful, beautiful cover. I do have a few more from Midtown that I'm probably gonna send in at some point. Looks great. It looks even better if there's no glare, but there's a massive glare. There we go. Great cover. Um, I guess maybe Donny Cates is becoming, uh, there's the back, so you know, it's that Midtown. I guess Donny Cates right now is kind of becoming um, the artist, uh, not the artist, but the writer of kind of maybe this generation. Um, seems like everything he puts out just turns to gold. Uh, first thing I remember him on was, is it God Country or Redneck? One of those two is the first thing I remember him being on. And I was like, man, this guy, this is really, really good. And since then, uh, Thanos, uh, Carnage. Ah, oh, gosh, what else has he been on? He's been on more stuff. I mean, it, it seems like everything he touches just turns to gold. So there you go. Next. And a 9.8 on that, too. That makes me pretty happy, too. Uh, let's see. What is this? Don't see it on the back. So we just pop it out there. Dominatrix, Gene Simmons, Dominatrix, signed by one of my favorite artists, Alex Garner. Absolutely love me some Alex Garner work. Uh, do I have that book right here? No, nah, I don't. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Probably my favorite Alex Garner cover. Absolutely love this cover. Not only, maybe one of my favorite overall covers. So, there you go. <laughs> But uh, signed by Alex Garner. I met him in San Diego. Um, do I have mine? Yeah. Uh, this Harley, um, the Gotham City Sirens right here behind me that I'm pointing at with my thumb, now with my finger. Uh, that was done by him. And I have a few more prints uh, done by him and signed. Very nice guy. Uh, at that particular show, he had hurt his arm and he wasn't doing any uh, sketches or anything. So... Hopefully at some point I can get a, a sketch by him because, gosh, so talented. 
So this is early work by him, I think. Uh, 2007. First appearance of Dominatrix, Dominic Stern. There you go. There you go. Awesome cover, signed by him. Which company did this? Uh, Simmons Comic Group. There you go. But this one was on uh, Midtown Comics. It had a sale on it. Oh, I guess I'll say 9.8. I think I said that, but I'm not sure if I did. So very happy to have that back at 9.8. Uh, this is another one when they were having a sale. I picked it up. I think I picked it up at the same sale as that uh, Carnage. And very, very happy that I, I was able to get this one. Uh, fairly cheap, too. I think people are really sleeping on Alex Garner, but that's just me. Maybe it's just because, again, I'm such a huge fan. That's not too bad. We've got two 9.8s. That's always nice. Next, we got Batman on the back. Is it a milk? It's Batman milk. Batman drinking milk. <laughs> oh, uh, nice. This is the Adam Hughes variant edition of JSA number one, number two. With that Power Girl cover. Absolutely beautiful. Pick this one up in San Diego. Um, he was actually signing in San Diego. I got something signed and I was walking around. And I happened to see this, and they had it so cheap. Godly, the glare. The glare's brutal. I'm trying to not get the glare, but I, that way I got glare. Sorry, I, I'm doing this in the afternoon, and I, I got the books back, and I wanted to do that video right away. Uh, so anyway, uh, I was walking around, and I saw this, and he had it for very cheap. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that. I'm going to get that. And come back a 9.6. Absolutely love it. And we got Batman on the back. What's this? 2000, 2005. That's actually a little bit older than I thought. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's see. I've got one, two books left. Two books left. All right, what is this? Cover up the grade on. Champions number one, signed by four different people. And it comes back a 9.8. Wow. Uh, this one I, is the one I was thinking might be a little bit lower grade. Uh, Pick this up again from Midtown. This is the Midtown variant. Uh, let's see who all signed it. Um, signed by... Edgar Delgado, uh, Humberto, De uh, Humberto. <laughs> I was about to say Delgado, because Delgado used to be a baseball player. Not, not Humberto Delgado, but a guy named Delgado. I remember him. Humberto Ramos, J. Scott Campbell, and Mark Wade. Again, they had this on a sale. On a sale. Signed by four four people. I was like, yeah, yeah. That, that needs to be in the collection. And wow, come back a 9.8. I did not expect that on this one. That is awesome. That is very, very much the awesome. Very happy to have added this into the collection uh, in a 9.8 grade. Wow. Wow. Did, I did not expect that. And of course, it's a J. Scott Campbell cover. That's why he signed it. <laughs> And, of course, Campbell's got to have the biggest signature on there. <laughs> oh, always cracks me up. He's got always got the biggest signature. Last one. That's three 9.8s. Come on. That's pretty awesome. And let's see what we got next. It is Black Cat number one. Um, I can't remember who signed this one. Oh, a 9.4. Well, gosh, we got to end on the bad note. Well, not bad note, but not as good a note. Uh, let's see who signed this one. Oh, this is the Clayton Crane. Oh. oh I wish this one was a 9.8. I've got another Clayton Crane over here that I'm going to be sending. It's a Venom cover, which looks amazing. So this beautiful Clayton Crane, uh, one of the best. One of the absolute best. 
And look at that signature. Tell me that's not the best signature. Uh, to me, him, uh, Crane, Mark, uh, uh, Mike, Mike Zach. I don't say with Mark, Mike Zach. Um, those two to me, their signatures are right at the top of the list of really good signatures. Uh, J. Scott Campbell, you always know his. Adam Hughes, I, I don't like his signature because that is so easily forged. That has got to be the easiest forged signature. But Zach, uh, Clayton Crane, to me, are two of the best signatures out there. Uh, let me know what other signatures you guys see and just go, wow, that's a great signature. Because the ones that, that I can't read annoy me to no end. It's like, come on. You can draw this good. Or if you're a writer, you can you can do such great writing, but yet you can't sign your own name. <laughs> I love it. I saw where some, uh, some people from the comic community, Clayton Crane, was at their shop. And he did the, the signature in multicolors, which I love that signature. But look at how beautiful that is. There we go. So that is my haul. We'll go back over these one more time right quick. We'll go with the lowest grade first. We got this Black Cat number one. Uh, again, a Midtown Comics exclusive. And this that's where I bought it from. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it was $12, I think, because that's what the, the Midtown ones usually start out at. And when the, uh, Midtown puts out uh, graded books, at first, they start them out at whatever, um, for the most part, whatever the, the base price of their, the book is. Like, their exclusives, they usually start for $12, $10 or $12. So, there you go. Not bad at all for 9.4 there. Got the 9.8 on Champions, number one, signed by uh, Ramos, um... Delgado, Ramos, Campbell, and Wade. There we go. And we got Adam Hughes, 9.6. Uh, JSA certified number two. That beautiful cover of Power Girl. Flex those muscles. Flex them. Uh, next is uh, Dominatrix, number one, signed by Alex Garner. Again, one of my favorite artists. Him, Adam Hughes are, are two right there. Alex Ross is right there. Uh, Greg Horn put him up in there. I'm having a good day if I get books, you know, art by those guys. That's a good day. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't read it. <laughs> Absolute Carnage number one, signed by Ryan Stegman and Donnie Cates. There you go, nine point eight. Oh, that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Again, I, I think Kate's might be the, the best writer of the generation. I think he's really, really good. Uh, next, ASM number 545. Uh, sketch and signed by Ken. I'm going to say Hazer. H-A-E-S-E-R. Come back at 9.6. Again, got this on the cheap at a show. Very, very happy. Very, very happy with that one. And last... Yet not least, uh, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures, number two, was it? Yeah, number two, 9.6. Got that beautiful Harley sketch on there. I ah, love that one. Love that one. So happy that one's in the collection now. Well, graded in the collection. It's been in the collection for a while now, but finally got it graded. But uh, there we go. That's all I got. And you guys, have an incredible day.